G'day guys, we've got a question today on arithmetic sequences in which we're asked to find the 10th term of an arithmetic sequence in which the first, second and third terms are not explicitly defined. Instead, they're defined in terms of the algebraic variable x. Now, this particular problem when seen in tests confuses many students and this sort of video is to show that it's not a very confusing question. You just have to make sure you understand the basic premise of what an arithmetic sequence is. So let's get to it. So first things first, guys, if you can do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, I'm only a small channel, so every new subscriber helps get these videos in front of more eyeballs. Um, I really appreciate all the support I already get, but the more subscribers, obviously, the better. So when approaching a question like this in a test situation, guys, the first thing I would do is make sure that in my head I'm very, very aware or I've established exactly what an arithmetic sequence is. Now, just for the record, for those of you who don't know, an arithmetic sequence is one that consecutive terms have a constant difference in between them. For example, in this scenario here, the difference between T3 and T2 is going to be the same as the difference between T2 and the first term T1. And what we usually call the common difference between terms in an arithmetic sequence is the common difference, or D. So on a question like this, guys, all I'm going to do is input each of my terms that I've been given, i.e. T3, T2, and T1, into this expression that I've just written down, and then I'm going to be able to hopefully solve for x. So let's start with the first or the left-hand side of this equality. We've got T3, which is 4x take 1, subtract T2, which is 2x plus 1, and that has to be equal to t2, or 2x plus 1, subtract the first term, x take 3. Now what I'm going to do on each side of this equality is combine my like terms. On the left-hand side, I have 4x take 2x is 2x, and I have negative 1 take 1 is negative 2, and that's going to be equal to, on the right-hand side, I have 2x take x is simply x, and I have 1 take negative 3, so 1 plus 3 is plus 4. Cool, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the variables to the left-hand side and our numbers to the right-hand side. So I have 2x take x is just x, and I have on this side 4 plus 2 is 6. So now we have the variable x equals 6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to then ascertain what the terms t1, t2, and t3 are equal to. So we can just write them down. So we have t1 is going to be equal to 6 take 3, which is 3. t2, which is equal to 2 times 6, which is 12, plus 1, which is 13. And t3, which is 4 times 6, which is 24, take 1, which is 23. So it's very simple, guys, to see that the first difference pattern here, or D, is equal to 10. So finally, guys, when we need to determine the 10th term in this sequence, we need to make use of a formula which defines an arithmetic sequence explicitly in terms of the term in the sequence rather than the previous term. So this is what's called a explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence. And when we're given the first term like we are in this situation, it is defined as t to the n is equal to the first term, which we define as a, plus n take 1, n being the term in the sequence, times the difference pattern, d. So from here, guys, we can go right ahead and solve it. So t to the n, it's going to be the 10th term, or t to the 10 is going to be equal to a, which is the first term, or 3, plus, we're looking for the 10th term, 10 take 1, multiplied by the common difference, which is 10. So in this case, what I'm going to do is this is going to be equal to 3 plus 9 times 10. Our order of operations says that we have to do the 9 times 10 first. So 9 times 10 is 90, plus 3 is equal to 93. So that's our answer, guys. If you have any questions with the way that I solve this, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. Also, guys, the only real piece of advice that I can give you on questions like this, where they're a little bit of a curveball, what I usually do in tests and exams when I'm faced with a question which I haven't necessarily seen before, I always go back to what the fundamental principles are of the topic. 
So for example, arithmetic sequences are defined as sequences which have a common difference. So if I know that they have a common difference, I know that the difference between the second term and the first term and the third term and the second term will be equal and that gives me the clue that I need to solve it. So it's always about going back to first principles of the topic and then working your way up from there. Now I know in a test situation under time conditions, this might seem a lot more challenging, but it's about staying cool under pressure and just getting into the habit of going back to what you do know rather than trying to bash your head against the wall with something that you don't know. So guys, that's the end of my video. If you did like it, again, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos as often as humanly possible. I've been moving house, so my life's been a bit of a chaos lately. So sorry if the uh, upload frequency has been lower than normal. But until next time, guys, just keep bashing your head against the wall. Eventually that wall will fall down. But most of all, guys, just make sure you keep enjoying your maths. And I'll see you soon.